All right, so we're gonna do a quick video about uh, a quick fix for the self-leveling suspension on a BMW E53 X5. So it usually deflates overnight, so I have an obvious leak somewhere, but I still wanna drive home and the control module, the self-leveling control module also isn't working. So I'm gonna do a quick bypass, so. Um, yeah, so I can get it inflated and I can drive home. Alright, so I'm in the trunk. All right, so we have here your compressor, the uh, motor, piston, the uh, demoisturizing chamber, and then the main air goes out here, and then it's controlled by these two valves distributing to both uh, sides of the tire. Now what you want to do here in order to switch it on you've got these two thick wires here red and white red and yellow so we want to bypass these or we'll short them and that will switch on the compressor and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave some wires out so it's easier to access so I don't have to remove the tire all the time so I can just fix it. Uh, I can fix the susp suspension quickly until the parts arrived so I can fix it properly. All right, so I found these thick wires and I'm gonna try to squeeze them into that relay port there. And once those are in, I'll connect the other end made it long enough so that I can just leave it in there and I'll just have it I'll attach a switch to the outside and like that I don't have to remove the compressor again. So it was a little bit more difficult to put it on the back side so I decided to uh, remove the uh, relay and just plug it in where the relay goes. Okay, so now that these two are connected, I'm not sure if it will switch on if, if the ignition is off. Oh yeah, so even if the ignition is off, it'll turn on. 
So I'm going to switch on the car so the battery won't drain and then we'll see if we can get the suspension to rise again. engines running and let's see if we are gonna get a lift so here's our progress after eight minutes so it's already moving up a little bit and this is where we're at after 13 minutes I'll, I don't have any reference as to where it should be so just gonna put in a little extra for good measure so that I have enough air to to get home so check on, our, check in on your compressor if everything's fine this is gonna get very hot so don't touch it uh, check your wires make sure you have thick enough wires if they're not thick enough these are going to overheat so make sure they're either as thick as this one over here or if not even thicker and this is now at 15 minutes so I think I'm happy with that so let's turn off the compressor okay compressor is turned off and while everything's open I'm gonna do a quick leak test using soapy water so I did open these before these connections so I'll just go ahead and Even working. Off, on. God damn it. Crap. All right, here we go. Bubble formations. None here. Let's check. Here. No. Nope. Nope. See how hot that is. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if we have everything. Anything here? Piece of beep. See anything here? So it's probably in the bags. All right, so I'm gonna put this back together. Put a nice switch here. That's gonna look out the compartment, so I can turn on the compressor whenever I want to. So I couldn't find a switch, but. Um, mm -hmm managed to find this connector here so as you can see the white one is the uh, live wire here so this is the one that I tucked in permanently and this one is the one that goes to the compressor so whenever I want to run the compressor I just transfer it here and uh, yeah. so at least I can manually override the system. And that's it.